All parties involved in the tribunal were present to hear the judgment. Patrick Puraitz, who appeared with his lawyer, Greg Shepard, from Young and Williams Lawyers, and the state represented by public prosecutor Pondros Kaluin. Initially, submissions made by Purites were on grounds of delay. Purites submitted that the inordinate delay of over 20 years now makes it impossible for tribunal to conduct due inquiry subjected to compliance with the principles of natural justice. These submissions were rebutted by the state on grounds that the delay was not unreasonable but gave time for the state to collect evidences and allowed poor rights to follow due process. These nine allegations are listed under the leadership code and dates back to 2003. It involves claims of misappropriation of support grants belonging to Itapelumi district and improper charges of fuel receipts. Since poor rights was referred to a leadership tribunal by the Ombudsman Commission in 2010, a number of appeals were made to both the Supreme and National Courts in Port Mosby to dismiss the case. The recent was in December 2019 with the courts ordering for a tribunal to commence. After a decision was handed down to commence the tribunal next Thursday, it was decided that no new evidence will be tendered except what has been collected over the years. Thekla Gunga, National MTV News.